we have always been at the forefront of medical technology as far as eye care is concerned. The first intraocular lens implant in the eye, and imagine billions of people have these lenses in their eyes today, was done at our clinic in Mumbai in India. The first phaco emulsification surgery where a vibrating tip went in the eye and melted the human cataract was done at our clinic. So there have been many, many firsts like this. And continuing this legacy, this is the first digital microscope in the country in use today. Originally, when we did eye surgery till yesterday, me and most other ophthalmologists in the world were using a microscope, which means we look inside the binoculars of the microscope and the microscope looks at the eye and we operate under that. This is now a digital microscope, which means just like your phone camera, there's a digital box which looks at the eye and we no longer look into optics. We look at a large screen positioned in front of us and we use 3D glasses. Why is this better? Remember, however good your microscope is, you are looking inside two binoculars and you have a restricted field of view. You cannot magnify it more, otherwise the whole perspective is lost. But when you're operating on a 55 inch screen, in three dimensions, you have a very wide field of view. Soon this technology will be adapted to use virtual reality, which means we will be operating in virtual reality wearing a VR headset and we will be able to see nearly 270 degrees. Right now we are seeing not even 30 degrees and on the TV it becomes more than 100 degrees and eventually we'll be operating in virtual reality, which will be nearly 270 degrees. So the benefits are immense. I can see the whole operating field at one time and the depth perception that the 3D effect creates. If you've been to a movie theater and you've seen a movie in a top class movie theater with 3D glasses, you can understand how much depth perception there is. Surgery gets better with depth perception because we know what structures are behind and in front. And our eyes are attuned to using depth perception because when we look and we walk around, we have two eyes. One eye looks at this side, one eye looks at this side, and the brain blends the two images and creates three dimensions. So now we get the chance to operate like that. Of course, it takes a little getting used to, and we are used to it now in just a few sessions. And this is what we'll be using going forwards. 